not see my face, for there shall no man see me and live. And the Lord said, Behold, there's a place by me, and thou shalt stand upon a rock. And it shall come to pass, while my glory passeth by, that I will put thee in a cleft of the rock. Rock of ages, cleft for me. I will put thee in the cleft of the rock. And I will cover thee with my hand while I pass by. And I will take away my hand, and thou shalt see my back parts. Now God doesn't have any physical parts. We know that. But this is anthropomorphological language. Thou shalt see my back parts. What did God mean? Since he doesn't have a human body, what was it that Moses was to see? His back parts. I'll give it to you in one verse of Scripture. For the law came by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. The Old Testament was law, the law. The New Testament is grace. The law came by Moses, grace comes by Jesus Christ. Grace. The word God used is the Hebrew word oxal. And it means that which will come after. What comes after the Old Testament? The New Testament. What comes after the law? Grace. And the beatific vision will see his face. That's why I haven't sing that song this morning. Face to face with Christ my Savior. They'll see His face. Revelation 22, 4. And they shall see His face and His name shall be in their foreheads. Glory waits for us. And a woman by the name of Annie Ross cousin. In 1857, over a hundred years ago, wrote a poem. And the title of the poem is The Sands of Time Are Sinking. Now I'm not going to quote the whole poem, but just a couple lines. Thinking about glory. The sands of time are sinking. The dawn of heaven breaks. The summer morn I've sighed for the fair sweet morning awakes. Dark, dark has been the midnight, but day spring is at hand, and glory, glory dwelleth in Emmanuel's land. In Emmanuel's land. That's where we're going. We're going to Emmanuel's land where glory is waiting for us. The inheritance. What a glorious thing it is that he would take poor wretched sinners like us and give us his glory. Let's stand together and be dismissed in prayer. And as we pray, Brother Landry, would you dismiss us in prayer today? Heavenly Father, we people look so forward to seeing you face to face, partaking in the praises that are due your name with bodies that are, will not uh, be corrupted by sin and with a mouth that uh, does not utter things that are disrespectful but praising your name continually. We look forward to the inheritance that is promised. We look forward to um, seeing family and uh, seeing friends and loved ones that have gone on before. But most of all, we look forward to seeing our Savior. We look forward to uh, being with Him and being drawn into His bosom. We thank You for all that You have done for us as Your people, as Your elect. We thank you for the protection that you give us and uh, 
that you give those who are the elect who aren't even saved. Uh, we can just uh, spend all day thinking of your goodness and all that you've promised in your word for us. We thank you for all that you have revealed to us uh, in your truth that we partake in now. We thank you for your kingdom that is now. We thank you for uh, adding us to this kingdom in this life when you've saved, saved us and translated us into this kingdom from the kingdom of darkness that we once lived in. We ask that you would uh, do this work in the hearts of the lost even today, that they may uh, no longer serve self and serve Satan and his dark and wicked kingdom, but that they may come to you, that they may come to the light and may your light shine upon their heart and show them their wickedness, their uh, their filth and their corruption, and may they find rest, comfort, and hope in none other than Jesus Christ. May uh, you continue to uh, encourage uh, them and to encourage us as your people with all the promises that we find in your word. May we count our blessings. May we be reminded of the truth in your word and be uh, strengthened this week to fight uh, Satan, to fight the flesh, to fight for your kingdom's sake and to go forth with the gospel. This we pray and ask in Christ's name. Amen.